Hey everybody, this is Brett, and today I'm super excited to go over the brand new 2024 Jeep Wrangler mid-model refresh. Uh, so they've redesigned a bunch of stuff on the Wrangler for 2024. I've got a 2023 right next to me so that you can see the differences uh, visually right here. And then we'll go into all the options on the interior that's different, as well as some package changes and everything like that. So let's get started. So the biggest change for 2024 that's visually um, noticeable right away is the different grill. So you can see that this grill is a lot shorter and it's, um, or it's a little bit narrower, I guess you could say. Uh, they've squished it down a little bit as opposed to the old one that's, you know, it's probably about two inches uh, taller than the new one. Now the thing to note with this grill is that it is on every, uh, trim level that comes with the Wrangler except Sport and Sport S. The Sport and Sport S are still going to have this grill. So if you order a Sport or a Sport S 2024 and it comes looking like this, that's how they come. Um, I got all my information off of Jeep's website today uh, for as far as packages and stuff. It's 62523, so anything up to today is going to be accurate what they do from here on out that's up to Jeep. So uh, once again, narrow front grille. And you'll notice that this Sahara has the LED headlamps and LED running lights. This one has the normal halogen. That's the other big change for 2024 is all the Wranglers are gonna come with the LED headlamps standard, except the Sport and the Sport S. Now you cannot get LED headlamps and running lights on the Sport package, but you can upgrade it on the Sport S package. It's $14.95 according to Jeep's website right now. So once again, LED headlamps standard on the Sahara, Rubicon, uh, Willis, Rubicon X, and the 392 standard. Good job, Jeep. You listen to the public. Um, so you're not going to be getting any more Rubicons or Saharas with the normal halogen uh, bad headlights. Anyways, let's uh, continue on. So the next big thing that's visually different on the 2024 Wrangler from the 2023 Wrangler is right here. You'll notice that this one has the old metal antenna. It's mounted to the side of the fender here. And if you look at the new 2024, no antenna. And what they have done is a couple different things here. They've put the antenna in the windshield, so it's integrated right into that windshield, and no more, obviously, metal antenna on the side. The other thing that's kind of interesting to note is that all the Jeeps used to only come with the trail-rated badge on one side. Now they come on both sides because that is where they used to mount the antenna, and now they can put that trail-rated badge there. Never really understood why it was only on one side. Now it makes sense perfectly. So the antennas are in the windshield. That being said, the other major difference from the 2023 to the 24 is that now all the 24s are gonna come with the Corning Gorilla Glass. So because of the steep angles on these Wrangler windshields, they're very prone to getting rock chips and um, getting damaged pretty easily. So they've gone with the Corning Gorilla Glass. It's supposed to be stronger, prevent rock chips, all that good stuff. So with an antenna in the windshield, they probably want to make sure that those windshields aren't going to be breaking as much. So, because uh, they would be probably pretty expensive to replace with that antenna in there. Uh, the one th thing to note, one thing to note again, is that the Sport package seems to be the outcast of the Wrangler trim levels. Uh, all the trim levels are going to come standard with the Corning Gorilla Glass, according to Jeep's website, um, except the Sport package. The Sport S is going to have the Gorilla Glass, but the Sport package is not going to have the Gorilla Glass, and it's not even an option. So once again, the Sport package can't get the LED headlamps, and you cannot get the Gorilla Glass with the windshield. It'll still have the antenna in the windshield, but it will not have the Gorilla Glass standard. And um, so those are the two big visual differences in the Wrangler from 24 to 23, uh, that you get the no antenna and the grill has been condensed down a little bit. 
uh, looks better. Once again, the Sport Sport S package, gonna have the old grills. So let's get to the next stuff. Uh, we got a lot of stuff to go over yet, and uh, we'll start with the colors. So the next thing I wanted to go over real quick are the different colors that you can get on the 2024 Wrangler. They've added one new color for 2024, and that is Anvil Clear Coat. And I've always liked Anvil myself. Paint coat is PDS. And uh, they've actually added this to the lineup, but they have taken away Sting Gray. So Sting Gray was, in my opinion, the most popular color that I've seen on all the Wrangler videos that I've done. Um, just from people's comments and popularity of the videos, Sting Gray was always the most popular. Anvil Clear Coat is a little bit darker. It's a little bit more blue than the Sting Gray, so we'll see if that color becomes as popular for the Wrangler as Sting Gray was. But anyways, this is the only new color for 2024. You can get 10 different paint colors for all your Wranglers across the lineup except Granite Crystal on the 392. Not sure if there's a special edition coming out with Granite Crystal, but right now on Jeep's website, you cannot get Granite Crystal with the 392 Wrangler. The colors that you can get on all your 2024 Wranglers are black, Granite Crystal, Anvil, Earl, White, and Hydro Blue, Firecracker Red, High Velocity Yellow, Sarge Green, and Silver Zenith. So those are the 10 different colors that you can get on the Wrangler for 2024. Just wanted to go over that real quick. Let's get to the rest of it. So just taking a look at the wheels, there's a couple differences here. They've obviously come out with new wheels for 2014, but they also have different center caps. All the center caps used to be just the Jeep lettering on there from the 2023. And on this one, you can see that they have the Jeep logo there. And across the board from what I saw on the website, uh, they all are gonna come with this center cap there. Obviously they've changed a couple different designs on the wheels for 2024, but um, this is the most noticeable one that you can see on every one. And then you also get the trail rated badge on the passenger side of the Wrangler now. Let's go check out the interior because that is the second biggest thing that's changed on the Wranglers. So one of the more subtle things that's changed on the Wranglers that's not really talked about, I didn't see it anywhere on the website, I haven't seen anybody talking about it, is the relocation of the holder for the electrical and windshield washer fluid hookups here. Normally you just take these off and they plug in right here. And on the new Wrangler, they don't have that. I'm gonna show you that right now. They've relocated it and I think it's pretty, pretty good. It's a pretty good design, pretty clever. So on the 2024, you can see that that holder is now gone. I'm guessing people were knocking that off or they were getting busted off and they couldn't find uh, anywhere to buy one of those and reinstall it. So they've made this case right here, or cover, I should say. There's two little clips right there, plastic clips, and then this holds it into place down there. And what they've done is they put that holder on the inside right here. So when you do have the top off and you can take this windshield washer fluid hose and just kind of snap it into there, and then it can wrap up in there and you can put the hard top or the electrical plug that into there. So what that does is when you have your hard top off, it keeps it hidden and protected from anything that could knock it off. And uh, it looks, you know, cleaner as well. So that's the other big thing that's changed on the 2024 Wrangler that's not really talked about. It's kind of a subtle um, little change and no better time to do it than a mid-model refresh. Let's go check out the rest and we're almost done. So the big thing that changed for 2024 and kind of one of the big announcements that everybody was really excited about is that Jeep Wrangler is now going to be offering power seats in the Wranglers for the first time ever. And we were super excited when we got the Saharas in because we thought they were all going to have power seats. This one does not. This one has the standard cloth bucket seats and through a little bit of research I realized that the standard cloth buckets do not come with power. You cannot get a cloth seat with 
the power option on it. You have to upgrade to the McKinley leather to get the power option. When you do upgrade to the McKinley leather, it automatically gives you the um, power seats. That is a $1,995 option. The other thing to note with that, that is only available on the Sahara, the Rubicon, the Rubicon X, and the Rubicon 392. So you cannot get power seats on the Sport, Sport S, or the Willis package. So I uh, just wanted to go over that. The next thing that they've changed on the interior is the dashes. Uh, you can see on this Sahara that you get a, it's actually a cloth um, dash trim. There's a little bit of a gold trim there as well. I, I do like that. There's the new 12.3 inch radio. We are going to check that out in just a second, uh, but you can see the cloth bolster on the dash there. And let's go take a look at the 2023 because I want to show you what they used to look like in the Sahara. Excuse me, for the 2023 Sahara, you get the black leather dash. Honestly, that was kind of my favorite dash from the uh, JLs was the black leather ones. They used to be painted as well. Now all of them are going to be this cloth design on the dash and uh, the Rubicons are going to have a black and Rubicon X's and uh, 392's are going to have a black dash. The 392's might be a little different, uh, but it's going to be still cloth material on there. Uh, let's take a look at that radio. So here is the all new 12.3 inch Uconnect 5 radio. It's run on Android. It has, this one has the factory navigation system. Now you can get this radio without the navigation system. The other thing to note is that this is the standard radio. You cannot get an 8.4 and you cannot get a 5 inch radio as of right now on the Wrangler. Even the Sport, the outcast of the trim levels, gets the 12.3 inch radio. And what they've done is they've also redesigned the cluster on here. As you can see, you get the small vents on here. Let me just show you the 2023 real quick. So here's the old dash. You had the vents on the side. You also had a little storage cubby up there with the 8.4 inch radio. Now these also came with a seven inch radio, no longer an option. You can see the bottom of the center console stack is gonna be still the same for the 2024, but that's what it looked like uh, before. And back to the 2024, once again, the small vents down there. You don't have the vents on the side. I like how they made this gloss black. It kind of blends right into the dash, which is kind of neat. You know, they have all the same options as any other uh, Uconnect 5 radio that you may have seen in the Rams and SUVs and the Jeeps and the like the 10.1 inch radio in the Grand Cherokees. It's all the same system. You got all the different apps on here. I'm going to go through all the apps real quick just so you can see everything that this has. Feel free to pause it. I'm not going to explain everything. You do get off-road pages, which are pretty sweet. You get your driver profiles and all that good stuff. Still is Android Auto, Apple CarPlay. This one does have the factory navigation system. Uh, like I said, you can get these without the factory navigation system, um, but this is the standard radio that's going to come with them. You also have your heated seats, heated steering wheel. You can control your climate controls up here. And then, of course, you get your media with AM, FM, and Sirius XM radio capabilities. Down here, the center stack looks exactly the same as the 2023. So basically, they've redesigned from here up. And you no longer get the cubby up there. And the other interesting thing I wanted to note is the uh, camera situation. So with this wide screen, you'd expect the camera to be nice and wide. But what they've done is they put a Jeep logo on the side there and just made the camera the normal size of like the 8.4. So there's the backup cam. You get the forward facing cam. You can see my awesome setup with the uh, tripod on the laundry basket there. And uh, the backup camera, these grid lines are dynamic. So they turn as I turn the steering wheel, which is pretty cool. And yeah, that's mainly the radio. Not a lot of difference from the Uconnect 5, from the 12 inch radio to the 10.1 inch radio to the 12.3 inch radio. Uh, they all kind of operate exactly the same. So the last big thing I wanted to go over is the interior on the top of the Wrangler. Nothing has changed on the hard top. Um, 
everything works and operates exactly how it always did. But the one big thing that has changed, and it's a huge deal because it's a safety concern, is that they have now made side curtain airbags standard on the Wrangler. And that is from the Sport package to the Rubicon 392 package. They all come with side curtain airbags now standard. If you remember, the JKs used to not even have side airbags. Um, the Wranglers do have side airbags standard for 2023, but they are just the airbags on the seats. They weren't the side curtain. But now they have the side curtain airbag standard and uh, way to go Jeep looking out for your customers. All right, so that's pretty much everything that's different with the 2024 Wrangler over the 2023. I hope you enjoyed the video, learned a little bit about the 2024 Wrangler. Just a couple things to go over on a couple of the different packages and stuff for 2024, not necessarily anything that's new, but different um, availabilities for different trim levels and everything. They did come up with a new trim level called the Rubicon X package. And once we get one of those in, I'll definitely do a video of it. Um, on particular, the Sahara package is uh, that they only come in a four door now. Uh, you cannot get them in a two door. I'm not sure if you could do that in 2023, but I know for 2024, they only come in the four door. Same thing with the 392 uh, Rubicon. You can only get that in a four door as well. The other thing to note on the Sahara package is that they only come with one engine as of right now. For just the Sahara package, you can only get the two liter turbocharged four cylinder engine, 270 horse with the eight speed automatic transmission. You cannot get the 3.6 liter V6 in the Sahara. You can still get it on all the other trim levels, just not the Sahara trim level. Not really sure why they did that. The other thing to note, the three liter V6 Eco Diesel has now been discontinued for 2024 for the Wrangler lineup. You cannot get a, two, a three liter eco diesel on a Wrangler anymore. I'm not sure why they did that. Maybe it wasn't living up to the hype of the fuel economy, reliability, who really knows? If you got answers, let me know in the comments below. Uh, but it no longer available for 2024 is the Eco Diesel engine. The different trim levels for 2024 are the Sport, the Sport S. Remember, those are going to come with the uh, old body style grills on them. And they're going to come with the normal halogen headlamps. Uh, no LEDs except on the Sport S. You can add it as an option. And then the other trim levels are the Willis the Sahara, the Rubicon, the Rubicon X, and the Rubicon 392. All of those are gonna have the updated front end on them. And those are the main differences on particular the Rubicon package. You're gonna be able to, from the factory, get a worn winch on there. And I believe those are 8,000 pounds. If I'm wrong, let me know in the comments below. Uh, the other big thing is that the Rubicons are gonna come standard with a Dana 44 heavy duty rear axle, and it's gonna be a full float rear axle. So what that's gonna do is it's gonna increase the towing capacity to 5,000 pounds. Right now they're at, they were at 3,500 pounds, but now with the Rubicon standard, you're gonna get that full float Dana 44, which gives you a 5,000 tow capacity when equipped properly. Uh, the other thing is that I'm not sure, and maybe somebody out there on YouTube knows uh, for sure. I don't think you can add the Dana 44 full float to any of the other packages. Maybe with the 35 inch Extreme Recon package, it wasn't very clear on the website and I didn't find it in my quick research I did. So if anybody knows if you can add the full float Dana axle to any of the other trim levels, perhaps the Willis package with the Extreme Recon could do it, I'm not sure. Let me know in the comments below and I'll pin those to the top so that everybody can read and I'm sure everybody will be happy to know that. And that's pretty much it for the 2024 Jeep Wrangler. Thank you so much for checking out the video. I really appreciate it. Go check us out if you haven't. It's youtube.com slash summit auto. We got over 8,000 videos on there. Most of them uh, walk around videos, but a lot of videos like this about Jeep Wranglers. In fact, in a second, you'll see a link to subscribe to my YouTube channel in the upper left-hand part of the screen, a link to a full walk around on this 2024 Jeep Wrangler in the upper right-hand part of the screen, a link to how to take your JL hard top off in the lower left, and a link to how to take your JL doors off in the lower right. 
Uh, click those, check us out, like, subscribe, and share. Thank you so much for checking out the video. I really appreciate it, and hopefully you enjoyed the video, and have a great day.